Hello guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'll be talking to you about SIC bar XC architecture. So, in this memory, in memory one word is equal to 24 bits. That is equal to 3 into 8 bit. Uh, 3 into 8 bit. That will make uh, 3 bytes. 3 bytes make one word. And there are total 2 raised to 20 memory locations. That means there are 2 raised to 20 bytes and that is equal to 1 megabyte. Now we see registers. Registers, these are mnemonic codes. A stands for register 0, that is accumulator. X stands for 1, that is index register we have seen in the previous video. L stands for register 2, that is linkage register we have seen in the previous video. B stands for base register. In this, it holds the value of the base address. N, S, T and F. No, S and T are general registers. And F stands for floating point accumulator. And in we have seen in SIC there is no floating point, but in this we have floating point accumulator that is 48 bits. Next PC we have seen in the previous video that is program counter. It counts. It counts which bit which instruction is running. SW stands for status word, which. Uh, includes condition codes etc. Now you see the data formats there are three or four data formats so first we'll see the basic one here we see uh, integers are stored in 24 bit in plus complement characters are stored in 8 bit that means one byte and floating point is stored in 48 bit signed is. now s will say which sign is it positive or negative we'll get to know by s is one byte one bit and next is exponent part that is 11 bit and next is fractional part the fraction is represented in 36 bit number and its value between 0 and 1. Only then it will be called a fraction. And the exponent will vary from 0 to 2047. And sign as I told before, it stands if it is 0, it will say it is positive, and if it is 1, it says it is negative. And we find the absolute floating point number value is given by f star 2 raised to e minus 2014 now instruction format there are four formats available first format is uh, one byte format that means the whole thing stands for the opcode second is uh, two byte format whole things uh, opcode stands for eight by eight bit Next is register 4 bit and register uh, 4 bit. That means if you are adding two registers, opcode will be here add and register 1, register 2. Third format, opcode stands for 6 byte and NIXBPE. We'll see later. And this stands for the address part, displacement address, which we add to which we do by index mode by adding the base address. With this address specified over here. Fourth format is uh, here we write opcode, then NIX BPE and the address part which is 20 byte. Now we will see what is NIX BPE. When n, n is equal to 0 and i is equal to 1, it means we are doing address in immediate addressing. That means you are passing the value directly and it is when n is equal to 1 and i is equal to 0 it means indirect addressing it means we have to go to the memory location and find the 
uh, value what is stored over there x is n is equal to 0 and i is equal to 0 this simple addressing that means offhand will be provided directly next is n is equal to 1 and n is that is again simple addressing now x stands for flag x if when it is 1 it means index addressing and when it is 0 it means uh, direct addressing now when b is equal to 0 and p is equal to 0 it means direct addressing now v is equal to 0 and p is equal to 1 it means pc relative addressing that means content of pc is added to the displacement and we get the target address when v is equal to 1 and p is equal to 0 it is base relative addressing in this the base address is added with the displacement and we get the final target address now when e is equal to 0 we use format 3 and when e is equal to 1 we use format 4 what is format 3 when e is equal to 0 we'll use this format and e is equal to 1 we use this format so it says which format because we can't differentiate between these two by any other method so that's it about sic bar xc so guys if you like me uh, if you understand, please share this video and please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you for watching.